I got a quick fact for you. Did you know that black people hold 10% of the wealth that white people hold in America? It's not because they worked harder. You see, in 1930s to the mid 1960s, the Federal Housing Administration and its racist policies would not allow black people to buy homes, especially in housing tracts like Levittown. You can look it up. This is where they started to create the suburbs. When they started to sell homes for like 9,000, 10,000 that are worth 500,000 up to a million nowadays, that's how they created equity. Black people weren't allowed legally to take part in that. They created in these mortgages that even if you sold your house as a white person, you could not resell it to a black person. So for at least 30, 40 years, black people couldn't build wealth. Now, how can we catch up 250 years of slavery? There's no way in the world we're catching up from that, from having free labor, and then come out and have 30, 40 years from the 30s to the 60s, almost 70s, of being able to create wealth that black people couldn't partake in. I have a solution. Go to blackdollarfund.com and see how I'm going to create opportunities and build wealth for black communities.